Hi ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about the advantages and disadvantages of teaming. So teaming is the opposite of self-directed learning, but they are closely related to each other. We learn, discuss, and giving feedback in a team, and we absorb knowledge from the team members, and also we exchange information and work on how to improve the issues and problems. Later, each team member may bring back information, uh, also um, to reflect on the issues and also to a uh, need that need to be solved. So, self-directed learning, uh, when an individual is working alone or on issues through watching televisions, uh, watching the media, research, and perhaps come up with suitable uh, solutions. So there are differences between teaming and self-directed learning. Okay, while we understand only the surface meaning of teaming, that teaming sounds like a group of people gathered together uh, and then talking take place. So there is a deep meaning behind, uh, behind all this. So teaming involves uh, uh, jokes, sarcasm, abuse, and many, many scenarios will arise while we are in the process of teaming. I'm interested in Harris and uh, Harvey, uh, the 2000 articles on team teaching in higher education classrooms. So towards collaborate uh, team knowledge and construction. So in, uh, in the article, Harry and Harvey also emphasize the good and bad about teaming. So the, uh, they study the advantages of teaming are number one, to provide students with rich material and invaluable experiences. Also number two, to help the students to become effective professionals. Number three is to learn new ways to approach issues and handle tricky situations. And number four is to have someone to talk to if issues arise, missing some essential ingredients. Also number five, to open feedback provides a unique and invaluable opportunity to see and learn new, uh, new approaches as professionals. And number six is to provide important insights to problems that are hard to, uh, to deal. And then number seven, it also can make changes in issues and policies through challenge because every team member has a different opinion, uh, different character or, or personality. And with this, it is possible to reach the best and a high standard solution to problems. And finally, number eight is to enable team members to learn and grow together. The above are all the advantages of teaming, okay? So through teaming, we can practice reflection. So agree to set aside time to plan and reflect. And this sort of uh, reflection is called the reflection in action. So reflection in action is a way of constructing new knowledge by critiquing and experience, constructing a new way of understanding uh, the problem and experiencing a new response uh, in the future. Okay. Now, uh, also by with this, we come uh, with the disadvantages of teaming. So, what are the is disadvantages of teaming? Okay, number one, the challenge uh, to an individual's balance of life. Okay, it disrupt disrupt the usual ways of going about with the profession. Number two, the disadvantages of teaming include like cohabitation co uh, needs to be tested before all team members engage in a long-term project. And also disadvantages of teaming involves in time demands. And also disadvantages of teaming involves in the potential conflict among the teammates. So from here, we can see that there are more advantages than disadvantages in teaming. So uh, I, will, I will end with the um, quote by Eisen in 2000. Uh, he said, because the fruits of their efforts are often very vis visible, and um, since team members' excitement is often contagious, they provide inspiration for others to engage in collaboration. Okay, uh, this concludes my today's topic on the uh, advantages and disadvantages of teaming. And my next topic will be teaming, teaching the aims and the purposes. Okay, and please subscribe and like my uh, channel. And uh, I will bring more to you next time. And stay tuned. And uh, thank you for listening. And 
Goodbye.